Take my skin, man. Take this with my thanks. Bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it! I knew those motherfuckers would betray us! Fuck them, Aiden! Kill them all! survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Susie? Carl. They, they took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. I don't see these crystals. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Fuck. What? The goon. Huge, ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there.
Sophie, everything's been taken. It probably took a little you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right. Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our criminals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. Aiden, how's it going? You alive, man? Fuck, I'm getting sentimental. I haven't said that to anyone since my third divorce. I appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious. But if you can do it, Ator will let us into the center. What's going on? I'm playing princess in the tower, can't you see? What do you think's going on here? I'm trapped in my apartment, by my brother, no less. Luckily, I was able to get out to the balcony. You wanna play prince and help me out? Yeah, sure, why not? Sounds like fun. No, wait. My wonderful Timur will set me free. He just needs to know that my brother has locked me in here and won't let me go. Can you let him know I need to be rescued? And where can I find this wonderful Timur? Well, tonight, Timur, my brother Loen and a group of survivors are supposed to clear out the, uh, the infected from the condo building north of here, on Richmond Crescent. It'll be our new home, and it will be one day. I tried to reach Timur on his radio, but can't. Please tell him to contact me. He loves me, you know? He'll free me and we'll be together, despite my brother's disapproval. Very well. Wait here till night falls.
Get away from there. I said, stay back. Now calm down. Are you Timor? No. Loan. Why are you asking about... Ah, uh, my sister sent you. Well, it's too late. Too late for what? Timor's changing. They've all changed. Does this have anything to do with why you trapped your sister in her apartment? What did you do, Loan? It was a massacre. Biters were everywhere. I'm the only one who survived. So, what are you still doing here? I was going to tell her, but instead I locked her up. And returned here to clean up this mess. I wanted to... I didn't want her to know till I took care of this. Till I knew what to say. She's an adult, Lowen. <laughs> Do you have a sister? No, I, I mean... It's complicated. Then you must understand. I, I have to protect her. Aiden, are you there? Have you reached the condos? 
You can't tell her, Aiden. It has to be me. He's not here. What do you mean? Are you in the right building? Yes, but there's nothing here but infected. Then why would he lock me up? Why would my brother keep me from my Timor? Sounds like the two of you need to talk. He sure has plenty of talking to do. Treating me like this. It's bullshit. And let me tell you, as fairy tale princes go, you really suck. I'll go back to her. Hopefully I'll figure out what to say by then. Thank you. lost them all. They're gone. And they were so beautiful. I sacrificed everything for them. Everything. And yet, uh, it was worth it. Each moment I had with them. But who's gone? Do you need help? Oh, no, my friend. <clears throat> Thank you. But there's nothing to be done here. But why? Who did you lose? My fish. My precious fish. <laughs> Can you imagine what it's like to keep fish when water is so hard to come by? But <clears throat> they were my friends. My teachers. <sighs> Welcome to the real world. Clean water is a luxury. Maybe you're better off not wasting water on fish anyway. Uh, 
I don't blame you for not understanding. You would have to spend some time with fish to understand. My f but... Why would you sacrifice water for fish? <clears throat> but why not? Because water is expensive. It's a rare commodity. <sighs> oh, I know that. I had to give away almost all I had. My supplies, a flower, and my father's weapons. But they can't survive without the water, of course. And out there, in the world, who knows <clears throat> how many fish are left? <clears throat> Most water has been polluted. Oh, all the dead fish I've seen floating belly up. Such a sad sight. Why are fish so important to you? <clears throat> Can I ask you a question in return? Why is this weapon so important to you? I needed to protect myself, you know, to survive. Ah, <laughs> you see, it's all so subjective, isn't it? What's necessary, what's not? <clears throat> For me, fish are fundamental to existence. Fish teach you everything you need to know about life. So, what did you learn from fish? Oh, uh, how much time do you have? Because they've been teaching me for years. <coughs> they taught me how to listen to others. They're great listeners, you see? And they helped me sleep. <coughs> have you ever seen a sleeping fish? So still. So peaceful. Uh, they don't mind being stared at all the time, and aren't bothered when rude people knock on the walls of their tank. Why is that? Patience. Oxygen is important. Almost as important as water itself. Have you ever seen what happens when water lacks oxygen? <clears throat> well, <sighs> I could go on and on. But I guess it's not the same if it's not coming from the fish themselves. And now I'm curious, where are your fish? Unfortunately, like I said, my fish are not with us anymore. They're gone. What happened? Uh, <clears throat> someone ate them. Wait. Someone ate your fish? Someone broke into my home and ate all of my fish. Then he drank all the water. The water you sacrificed so much for. Who? Tell me. Want me to go after him? Uh, nah. Forget about it. I think I know who it was. I saw discarded fish bones in front of his place. Uh, but um, let's forget about it. What? You don't want revenge? He ate your fish. <sighs> One of the many things fish teach you, as I mentioned, is patience and accepting what fate brings you. <sighs> Once you watch them for a while, just swimming in their tank, they don't question where they are. They don't complain that the tank is too small. They just are. Wait. Wait, what? So, so let me get this straight. You spent everything on the water for your fish, then someone ate your fish and drank that water, and yet you're not angry? Oh, I was angry. But what does anger do for me? It causes nothing but negativity and remorse. <coughs> Maybe one day we'll fish in rivers and oceans again. Fishing. Ah, yes. <laughs> Fishing can also teach you a lot about life. You sound like some kind of fish monk. Oh, I'm poor as a monk now. That is for sure. Farewell, my friend. I'm sorry you can't learn anything from my fish.
crazy prices.